Now let's take a look at the Paragraph panel in Photoshop. I'm going to go to my Zoom tool and just click on the first portion of this mock-up that has multi-line text. My goal is to get to 100% and I'm there. And I'll go to my Type tool and click once inside the text. When I do, Photoshop shows me that this is on the Featured Sale group. It's technically a folder group, but I've stored Featured Sale and this huge Backpack Sale text in one type layer in this group. Now you'll notice something that you may have not used before in Photoshop, Area Type. And let me show you how that's created. If I do Select All and Copy, and I hit the check mark to say OK, that leaves me on the Type tool. Often I would go to the Move tool and then come back to the Type tool, but the check mark is faster. If I click just once with the Type tool and Paste, it creates long lines of type. If I hit the check mark to accept that and then trash that layer because I don't need it, and instead of doing one quick click to create my text area, you can click and drag and control how wide and tall the area is so it's allowed to wrap from line to line. So now when I choose Edit Paste, my text is wrapping. I'm going to again hit the check mark and again trash that duplicate layer, but it's important when doing mock-ups of this type that you see how to create area type. All right, let's jump into the Paragraph panel. I'll aim for the middle of any of these words. And in your Options bar across the top is the Paragraph panel. So one click brings that up. I'm actually going to do a Select All, Control A or Command A. And I prefer, in the Character panel, the better letter spacing of Optical. Makes much more cleaner easier to read type, in my opinion. But I'm going to click just on the first line and go to the Paragraph panel. And all of these already have the proper alignment. It's on Center. But if I do a Select All again, you could try some unique alignments. Justify with Last Line Left, which in this area type would cause very large gaps between the words. So I'd have to reduce this area for that to work out. But they do have Justify with Last Line Centered and Justify with Last Line Left. And if you really wanted to force it, Justify All Lines, which can, I suppose, create some neat artistic effects. But I want to go back to Centered. There's also Left Indent, Right Indent. So this might be handy if I did want a little cushion on the left or right side here. I could maybe do 10 points for Left Indent and 10 for Right and help my words wrap a little bit better. But I'll adjust the width of my text area instead of doing a left and right indent, because that would affect my headline as well. In some environments, if I click on this All Styles paragraph, I can choose left alignments. And in book publishing, they often like to do a first line indent. I find that old-fashioned, personally, so I'm going to set that back to zero. And I'll click back on the first line of type. And before I show you Space Before and Space After, I'm going to triple click to select this line. And in my Character panel, make this All Caps. So Character and Paragraph are nested right behind one another. I can click their icons to collapse or expand them. But I want to use a typography feature of space before, or in this case, space after. A lot of people would add an extra return to do space between their lines. But depending on the size of this line and the size of this text, you may pick up this font, Minion Pro, or this font, Letter Gothic. To make sure that I can globally control how much space is in between every heading, and every body piece of text, I believe and strongly preach that you should be using space after and never do double returns. That's cheating in a typography world. So space after here 
would let me put 10 points of automatic white space between this headline and the body copy. Space before I could have done if I set this back to zero and click in this paragraph, I could put in 10 points of space before every body paragraph. But I usually prefer space after on a heading. So I'm going to reverse that, put it back to zero, make sure my cursor is on the top line, and after that line, I always want 10 points of white space. This way, if I look at the whole layout with view, zoom out, and I were to later use styles, I could say for this outdoor sports, apply this style, and make sure there's always 10 points of space between these two lines. And any other spot where I have a headline and a body paragraph, I could make good global adjustment. So space after is a lot faster for global edits. I think I'll finish this off by triple clicking on huge backpack sale and making the size 17 points. And I will adjust the width inside this text frame to be a little bit thinner so I'm happier with the word wrap. And I think I'm good. So this has been using the paragraph panel, which you trigger by choosing toggle character and paragraph panels up here, or you could bring up window and paragraph. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of your alignment options, indenting options, and space after in the paragraph panel.